Hello, everybody. This is From Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm your host, Daniel Goodwell, and with me is the co-founder of this podcast, Chris. Yo, what's up, people? All right. So um, today we're going to be uh, wrapping up our Florida Everblades coverage for this for the 2019-2020 season. Um, the Florida Everblades actually had a really solid year this season. Um, they had a good year, uh, headlined by uh, Blake Winicky and Cam jo- uh, not Cam Johnson, Ken Appleby, which now Chris is going to go. Mm, Appleby. Appleby. <laughs> But um, we're really looking forward to what 2021 brings us for our ECHL affiliation with Florida. That is at this time that we know that. Um, We do not know what the future brings because, well, given everything that's happened, we don't know what's going to happen. We We don't don't even know know what's going to happen tomorrow. (laughs) We don't know if there's going to be a next year at this point. We We could have a second wave of this and it wipe out sports for next year. Yeah. So right don't now, know. we don't know. But right now, that's what we got to look forward to is next year. So let's just wrap up this year and get into that. So your top scorer, like I said, was Blake Winicky with 56 games played, 24 goals, 26 assists with 50 points. Um, then we have Zach Magwood, who had 51 games played, 19 goals, 28 assists for 47 points. And Justin Auger, all six foot six of him, 59 games played, 26 goals, 20 points, there are 20 assists for 46 points. He also had 42 penalty minutes and a plus 26. Magwood had a plus 22, and Winicky had a plus 27. Um, all right. Um, uh, Chris, you want to take our fourth, fifth, and sixth? Hold on, hold on, one second. Having some issues. Hang on, hang on there, folks. We're having tech issues here. Yeah, sorry about that, everybody. We're live. All right, Chris. So what you got for us? All right. Next up, we got Michael Hootenbrinker, uh, Daniel's favorite player, with 43 games played, 20 goals, 24 assists for 44 points, and a plus-minus of plus 24. Then we have uh, Hunter Garland, uh, 54 games played, 17 goals, 27 assists for 44 points. Uh, he has 22 penalty minutes and a plus-minus of plus 31. Ooh. And then we have John McCarron, 46 games played, uh, 12 goals, 28 assists for 40 points. And uh, he has 15 with a plus or a plus minus of 15. All right. So up and next, we got uh, Logan Rowe. With, uh, he's a defenseman, had 45 games played, 12 goals, 26 assists for 38 points, uh, 31 penalty minutes, and a plus 36. Then we have. Uh, a guy who was really turning it on at the end of the season, uh, Leif Cole Coper. Uh, he had 43 games played, 10 goals, 23 assists for 33 points and a plus 20. He only had 10 penalty minutes. Then we have uh, someone Admirals fans are very familiar with, Mr. Joe ah, Pendenza. Mr. Pendenza. Yes, Mr. Joe Pendenza. He has 36 games played, 13 goals, 17 assists for 30 points and a plus 21. Um. Up next, Chris, if you can take that, we should have Cam McLeese. Yeah, we got Cam McLeese, 47 games played, 10 goals, 20 assists for 30 points and a plus minus, a plus 25. Then Um, we have what? Hey, uh, currently a member of the Chicago Wolves roster, part of a PTO. I believe he will be released. Who, Ben Masella? No, uh, Cam McLeese. Oh. Well, now we got Ben Masella. I think that's how you say his last name, Masella. Uh, 50 games played, uh, two goals, 28 assists for 30 points, and a plus minus a pl- or a plus 40. Ooh. Yikes. That's a pretty good plus minus. Especially on the defensive side. You want to take Hugo? Yeah, next up we got Hugo Waugh. Uh, he is uh, – 56 games played, 14 goals, 12 assists, 26 points with a plus 11. 
Then we had Brendan Fortunato. Uh, he had 48 games played, two goals, 19 assists, 21 points, and a plus one. And we have Patrick McCarron, who is the brother to Admiral Michael McCarron. Uh, he has a 50 – oh, no, that's John McCarron, sorry. Um, 54 games played, three goals, 17 assists, 20 points, and a plus 25. Next. Then we got uh, Michael Neville, 31 games played, five goals, 10 assists for 15 points and a plus minus of plus 15. Then we got Lucas Craigs, 12 games played, six goals, five assists for 11 points and a plus minus of plus eight. Then we, who is that? Uh, Cody Saul, Saul. Uh, 28 Saul. Uh, 28 games played, six goals, four assists for 10 points, and a plus minus of plus five. Wow, he has 69 penalty minutes. Yikes. All aboard the Soul Train. Yeah. That was a running thing in uh, in uh, Florida this year. Um, up next, we have uh, Michael Dowling. Uh, he's a defenseman. He has had 24 games played, three goals, seven assists for 10 points, and a plus 24. Then we have Arvid Atwal, 23 games played, four goals, four assists, eight points, 100 penalty minutes, yeah. and th- a plus 13. Um, he has re-signed with the Admirals, so most likely will be with Florida again next year. Um, and up next after that, we have Adam Smith, who is uh, 44 games played, two goals, six assists, eight points, and a plus 29. You're up. All right, now we have, uh, what is that, Darek Angeli? Angeli? Yeah, uh, just go with whatever feels comfortable. All right, we got six games played, uh, two goals, five assists for seven points, and a plus minus, plus six. Hey, I know this guy, Tanner Janelle. Uh We got three games played, four goals, one assist for five points, and a plus minus, a plus three. Uh, and then we got uh, Alex Tung, or Tung, Tung, whatever, uh, 13 games played. Two goals, three assists for five points, and a plus minus, a plus five. You're uh, right. Next up, we got Jeremy Diener. Uh, he has 10 games played, one goal, four assists, five points, and six penalty minutes, and a plus two. Then we have Nicholas Schaus. Uh, 12 games played, five assists, no goals. Uh, four penalty minutes and a plus four. Then we have Jack Nevins. Uh, 16 games played, two goals, two assists, four points, 45 penalty minutes, and a plus one. All right, now we got Derek Shepard. Uh, four games played, uh, four assists for four points, and a plus minus of uh, well, zero. Then we have uh, Kyle Newber. I believe, uh, 36 games played, three goals, three points, 137 penalty minutes and a negative one. Oofka. Yeah. Then we have uh, Aaron Harstad, uh, 14 games played, one goal, one assist, uh, and a negative one. Then we have Nick Ford, three games played, one assist, one point, and a plus one. All right, you're up. All right, then we have uh, Theo Calvis, uh, four games played, one assist, and a plus three, um, no goals, no penalty minutes. Then we have uh, Gabriel Boudon uh, with one game played, no stats. Uh, Jake Clifford, defenseman, one game played, no stats other than a minus one. I'm just going to go rapid fire here from here out. Yeah, knock out the rest of them. Uh, we have uh, Gagne, Torrell, two games played, no stats and a plus one. Uh, Cole McDonald, two games played, no stats and a minus one. Uh, Greg Campbell, no stats, two penalty minutes. Uh, Jacob Graves, uh, three games played, four penalty minutes and a minus one. Uh, Matt Harrington, three games played, six penalty minutes, no other stats. Uh, Reed Jackman, six games played, no stats, minus two. All right, and your net binders, I'll let you take the first two. All right, we got Tom McCollum. Uh, 
He has three games played with a goals against average of a 1.65 and a save percentage of 0.938. Do we have Cam Johnson, 21 games played, a 2.32 goals against average and a 0.925 save percentage. And then we got Ken Appleby, 42 games played, a 2.39 goals against average, and a .913 save percentage. Then we got Sean Romero, uh, two games played, a 7.28 goals against average, and a 7 point, or a .750 save percentage. And then uh, Chris Nell and Ben Myers stayed in a play. And that's all their goalies. All right. So overall, our first year of coverage, even though we were late to the show, what was your overall thought of the Everblades organization and what they've done? Uh, well, from what I could tell, they were dominating the ECHL because when we started covering them, they were playing hot. I mean, they finished second in their division, so they clearly had a playoff spot wrapped up had the playoffs happened. Yeah, they had their playoff spot clinched. They were second in the league. Well, they were second, second in the division. division. Second in the division, dude. I checked before we started shooting the video. Okay. Um, but either way, they had a good year going on. Also, ugh, sorry about that. Guys that have come up and down uh, through their uh, their performance, they were battle-tested and ready, ready to go. Yeah. So I liked what was going on from there. Um, I I can't argue that that I would hope I I hope this continues. I don't know the length or deals of the contract between yeah. Nashville. I'm hoping it continues as well. Nashville and Florida, uh, but you know, with everybody moving around, we don't know. Yeah. And who knows, teams will go out of business or switch leagues and yada, yada. You know how it goes in minor leagues. All right. So with that all being said, um, you know, I really felt more bad for the ECHL than I do for the Admirals now that we have canceled. Because at the end of the day, they're really – dependent on fans and, and, and getting a full season in. Uh, as far as the revenue, it's probably mostly ticket sales. Yeah, as far as the Admirals go, oh yeah. But, hey, that's what happens. Uh, this is what happens when pandemics happen. This is what happens when people don't take precautions. To make yeah. sure that this didn't happen and people make a joke of it. I'm guilty of doing so myself. Um, Me not so much, but it is what it is. Um, but for from Milwaukee to Nashville, um, this is us signing off on our first season of the Florida Everblades coverage. Yeah. So um, uh, hopefully gonna... see you next year. Also, uh, don't forget to like our Facebook page. And where can they, else can they go to see our content? Check us out on YouTube. Give us a subscribe and click that little bell to get notified whenever we do a video. All right. So we will see you guys later with our Admirals wrap-up. We will also be doing today alone uh, a draft preview of the Top 31 prospects. Yeah. So see you guys later. Thanks for watching.